Today, we're tackling the Hack the Box Challenge driver. And in comparison to the other Hack the Box machine that we've just finished, the 2 million one, I'm going in blind. So before we talk a lot about this, uh, let's just do a quick port scan, just gather what the open ports are. Let's be very aggressive about it as well. And should I just grab the open ones? I mean, yeah, we don't care about the other ones. So let's just start this Nmap scan in the background. But this time, due to popular request without the VR, um, the VR screen kind of sucked in terms of the resolution. I don't know why the screen casting looked so bad. Uh, in real time, it looks much better. All right. Okay. We have a couple of ports found. We have HTTP, we have MSRPC, we have Microsoft DS and we have WSMAN. No idea what those ports are, except for maybe 80 and 445, but, uh, oh, and the RPC, right. Okay. So let's just do a more thorough scan of the entire thing so we can see what's actually happening. The ports are 80, 135, 445, 5, and let's do some scanning of the, what is it called? Oh, first of all, let's call it just full scan of driver.htb. All right. Another section where we have to wait for some results. So. Make sure you have your caffeinated beverages ready so you can just take a sip while we wait for this thing to load. So first of all, we already get an instant unauthorized MFP firmware update center and the password for admin. Okay, cool. So this sounds like uh, MFP is the multifunctional printer. If I recall correctly, so we have maybe a printer that we have to hack into. We have MSRPC, which is open, which could allow us to execute remote commands. Oh, my hair looks like shit better, almost. And uh, what do we have? Microsoft DS workgroup. We have HTTP API. I'm not sure what this one is. We have SMB without message signing required so it's enabled but not required so we could play around with impact it and steal some tickets but i doubt that the nice challenge would include that well maybe it does and we can even access it as the guest user so maybe we can take a look at the samba share and um, all right okay i mean let's start with the obvious one which is the website we usually want to take a look at the website we have driver.htb, okay, HTTPS or HTTP, driver.htb should do the trick. Okay, now it asks for username and password. Now, what do we do with the drunken sailor? What do we do with the drunken sailor? I mean, the easiest thing that would work would be admin without password. Doesn't seem to work. The second easiest thing would be to be admin as username, username and admin as password. Are you kidding me? I was telling me that that was the password for this MFP firmware update center. All right, that's great. Well, let's take a look at what we got here. So this is from 2021. We, as a part of Center of Excellence, conduct various tests on multifunctional printers, such as settings, firmware updates, drivers, etc. I mean, I like that the password for this super cool tool is just admin, admin. But all right, let's take a look at what this is all about. Okay, nothing happens. And let's continue in here. Select printer model and upload their respective firmware update to our file share. Oh, okay. We can upload something. Our testing team will review the uploads manually and initiates the testing soon. Okay, we have a couple of printers and we can upload firmware. All right. I'm, I'm piecing together the pieces and, or I'm gathering the pieces. And somehow there is a puzzle in my head that tells me that we have to check out an existing one so we can maybe abuse. I don't know what the driver should be. I'm guessing it's a binary, but maybe we can put in some reverse shell or uh, with MSF Venom, or maybe it's just as simple as the easy rating would make you believe, where, which is we just upload like a reverse shell and connect to it, right? But uh, it can, it could be probably that easy. Um, the driver's update says nothing. The context tells me nothing. All right. Okay. We have the upload 
firmware. Fantastic. What, what that, that's uh, absolutely prim. Each file is reviewed manually. All right. Okay. Keep with me just for a minute. We're going to analyze what's going on. So first of all, we can upload something here, but it's telling me our testing team will review the uploads manually. Okay. What does review mean? They will probably check out our code or whatever we upload, we upload it to them. Um, it's probably running Windows as uh, scattering from all the Microsoft services that are running. And we have SMB. If we take a look at our report here, we can, oh, it has even more things. We have some SMB going on, which is not secured, which is perfect because then we can run some responder stuff and the file gets manually reviewed. Now, manually reviewing. I think in this case, because it's hack the box means that just some script will like execute our file. All right. So we need to create a file that we can upload something that will talk back to our responder. Then we get a ticket and then we can do things like X uh, pass the hash uh, for, for example, win evil win RM that will allow us to hack into the system as the user that we will get. We can also crack the hash, but let's first actually prep the attack. So first of all, and scoring here, and we are in the driver challenge. All right, responder. I think I have to do a pseudo responder and we have ton zero, right? Okay. Um, are my configurations all right? I think they are i'm unsure but um, we will find out now the next thing we need is something to upload there now seeing as they will access our file and i'm guessing they're running windows so we need to create a windows script uh, i mean we could do a bat file or a shell command file okay wait maybe we first need to really check out if we could detect an, an OS is Windows, right? Okay, now maybe we do it quick and easy with a bat file dot bat file to connect to network drive. Okay, and we need the password. Let's just try this one. All right, okay, Prim, cool, Nova. I don't know what to say else. So let's do a responder dot Bet. Put this in here. Boom. And now we have to find out what our IP is. Hey, and our IP is this one down here. So we copy that and we paste it in where we have the server. And here we type in, I don't know, tools. Okay. Let's go into HTB driver and this responder bed and submit it and then let's take a look if we get something in responder nothing is happening and um, maybe we have to try it another way it may be it's not actually running on the windows machine where we upload it but rather on the printer which in hindsight makes even more sense i don't think it's gonna take much longer because we're gonna create a special hidden cool thing which is an SCF file. Now, if you don't know what an SCF file is, it's commonly used for SMB share SCF file attacks. And we usually have to like paste in what is the command for the shell and uh, how does it look like? What icon do we need? So we just copy paste this. We go into here and then we say respond.scf. Boom, we paste it in here, boom. And in here, we just put our IP, copy and paste it and boom, boom, boom. And uh, now we just upload that one, respond.scf submit. And now we wait. Oh, ah, can you see that? We have a hash and we have a username and we have an IP. And uh, now I'm always confused uh, which part of the hash I have to take for John the Ripper to crack it. Let's just say John crack MTLM V2. I mean, the only thing I really need to know is essentially which part. Okay. So the entire thing. All right. Let's go in here. 
this is the entire thing. Oh, no. Lim Ash, but 3XT, Tony, Hash, boom. And then we have the Tony. Let's actually take this. So we have the Roku already in place, which is the most commonly used password. And use the Tony Hash here instead. And then, boom, complete. Okay, our password is little Tony. And that's how easy it is to crack passwords. And now we should be able to use evil win R M with the driver.htv and the user is Tony and the password is little Tony. Now let's take a look at if, if we actually made it. All right, let's go to the desktop, type user.txt and we got the user flag. Perfect. This one was pretty easy. Submit. Oh, come on. Use a flag owned. Submit flag difficulty rating. That was very easy. Now to do a little reca a recap of what we did. We just did a quick scan and the scan revealed here <laughs> that there is some SMB stuff happening over here. And we have a website over here. Come on. Uh, why is it hard? We have a website over here and then we abused that website to upload a file that will connect back to our responder. So we started responder, which is like an evil tool together. And TLM hashes, uh, we use this SMB share SCF CF file attacks, which is a great way of gathering hashes because we just need to include like our IP to for an icon file. And then after we got the hash and we could crack it with John the Ripper, it took like five milliseconds or so. I think it actually tells you how long it took. Done. I don't even think it took one millisecond. <laughs> There's just zeros over here. It was almost instantly cracked. And then we used evil WinRM um, to connect to the machine. And now we have access to it. Perfect. This is where we will continue next week with the hacking challenge. So make sure to check out next week how we elevate our privileges from this Tony user up until the system admin or maybe even the domain admin.